if you are not using moisturizer, even if your skin is oily, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys have been doing well. If this is your first time, then thank you so much for clicking on my channel. And if you are a current subscriber, then welcome back. So today, as the title says, I don't even know what I'm going to name the title yet, but yeah, if you're over 40, 35, this video is a must. So uh, if you watch any makeup tutorials, then you know when once we get done with our makeup, the makeup, it looks flawless sometimes. Sometimes, you know, we kind of, there's hit and misses, but for the majority of the time, we really try to make sure that our makeup looks good. And of course, we have lights and things like that. But something that we usually don't mention because we're just kind of focusing on the art of the makeup is what is going on our face under the makeup. And in this particular video, I really want to focus on the eyes. I really want to focus on the eyes. And when I say focus on the eyes, I mean before the makeup. So for me, I'm 44, I'll be 45 at the end of the year. And as we all know, as we get older, our lids start to droop, we get dark circles, we just look generally tired. I'm sure if I put a before and after photo, obviously we don't look the same because there's a lot of stuff going through, just spattling stuff on your face. But with that being said, I want to just talk about how very, very important it is to make sure that you are taking care of your under eye area. Our under eye area is like the most sensitive part of our faces. So a lot of times when people are using products and things like that, and at first they're using these fingers here, the ring finger, because they're like the weakest fingers on the hand. So, you know, the general rule is if you're going to apply things under there, it's just kind of tap, tap, tap with this finger here because you're not like pulling. Um, that's why there's so many different eye creams, high end, low end, as far as taking care of the under eye, because it is very important. And unfortunately, it goes missed a lot of time so you don't even have to be over your 40s like if you have dry skin or if you are you know even a teenager it's never too early I should say to kind of take care of your under eye we don't really think about that when we're a teenager um, and we're definitely not really thinking about it when we become like you know when we're at 20s why can I talk <laughs> we usually don't think about it when we're in our 20s I think I got that out <laughs> so what I wanted to kind of get out was, like, you see my face, you see my eyes. Again, I do have, you know, there is a little, I'm looking at my, do you find here? There's, you know, it's deep set here, depending on how much rest I get. Um, the reason why it probably doesn't look as bad as it could have is because I really make sure that I pay attention to what I'm putting under there every day and it's usually twice a day so what I want to show you guys was the product that I'm using and the product that has been helping me okay okay so I wanted to show you what I was using now this is not a sponsor video or anything like that this is I paid for this with my own money and I found that this works so take my word for it it works now there are other options and other um other brands and things like that that you can use but this is what I found that works for me I have I think I showed one in a previous video it was the elf eye illuminator um, which that did work great and it was very nor nor nourishing but for me I find that as I get older puffiness is becoming an issue and a lot of times I don't necessarily like to film in the mornings if I didn't use my under eye cream because you know it's a little puffy so it's like, would you show the product already? Okay, I'm about to show it. <laughs> this is it. This is the It Bye Bye Under Cream. Under Cream. The It Bye Bye Under Eye Cream. It says it soothes, brightens, and depuffs. So yeah, you want this to look as bright as possible. You want it to look less puffy. And then you want it to soothe because it does feel like very cool when you put it on. It's just, and it's, it's real thick. I mean, did I not do that? And it looks like this. This is another bottle. Uh, it's very thick, very creamy. And how I found out about this was that you get the free samples when you order from Sephora sometimes. So um, I had like one of the little free samples and I tried it. I was like, oh my God, this stuff is so good. And it really, really, really is. Now, I don't have any makeup on or anything like that. There's no filters or anything on my cameras or anything like that. But you can like see just from use, you know, how well 
you see where I'm going with this how well it works so just give you the specs on this now I have I purchased this from Sephora like I said and I'll try to put the information up here it retails for $48 and with that you get a half an ounce so yeah it is a little pricey but when I tell you that it works and there again again that there there are alternatives to this uh, like I said elf makes one um, you just kind of look at the ingredients and one of the ingredients that I do like that is in here is that it um, it's like a cucumber extract so it has soothing properties and it helps reduce the appearance of puffiness and there's also collagen in there and that you know helps with elasticity so that you look younger and then hyaluronic acid again it locks in moisture it locks in moisture and supports the, the look of skin elasticity. Um, again, it takes off the fine lines and wrinkles and things like that out. So again, anything with hyaluronic acid, I usually will use. This is what I generally use on my face, and this is by Neutrogena. Um, it's a water-based gel because I do have combination oily skin, so I do use this for my... I use this for, like, all over my skin. It's just... Another blue... It... Just, it's like water-based gel, but when I tell you, it like plumps immediately. Like if you are not using moisturizer, even if your skin is oily, I don't know what you're doing with your life. And same way with under eye cream, I cannot stress it enough how important it is to make sure that you are taking care of this chocolatey or your, you know, melanin goodness up underneath that makeup. I can't stress it enough. Like we sleep on that. It's like no this makeup looks good because of the base that I'm putting down and the base that I'm putting down is healthy skin okay so yes I do suffer from you know adult acne this is not about acne this is about the moisture I have very good hydrated moisturized skin like if I do say so myself <laughs> time so this is nothing I just kind of came across like no I've been doing this for a long time and I've been seeing the benefits of it I use it once in the morning and I use it again before I go to Bed. So make sure you're following directions on it because you too will get these amazing results, um, which goes to the type of concealer that you use. So if you're going to be using something that's like very drying, definitely want to make sure that you're using uh, a nourishing under eye primer. Okay. Oh no. None of that was recording. Bruh. Ugh. <laughs> Here we go. Okay guys, so I also want to show you how to cover under eye dark circles and how to cover hyperpigmentation around your mouth. A lot of times if you have under, um, a lot of times if you have dark circles under your eyes, you will tend to use more concealer and depending on the coverage of that concealer or foundation, you may end up using more. So I want to show you how to use an orange concealer and this is from LA Girl Pro. LA Pro Girl, well, LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, this is, they have different shades of orange depending on your skin tone. So this is GC9900, just says orange corrector, but they do, I wish I had the other one, but they do come in different shades of orange depending on the skin tone. If you're deeper, then it's a deeper orange. Um, so I wanted to show you that. Um, also, these run maybe two or three dollars in the store so they're very inexpensive any orange you can even use an orange lipstick or a reddish colored lipstick like it really anything that's going to cancel out that brown or that bluish color that you'll see a lot of times as we get older just through hormones you'll see it around your mouth you see it around your nose and it's, sometimes you'll see it under your eye now i do have like dark marks and i can put that on there and again you'll wind up using using less product so again i did do a tutorial showing different concealers and I will link that card but I still wanted to show you how to use less concealer because as you get older and you're you know you're you're over 40 you're over 30 you're over 35 you need to be more strategic about how you're applying your makeup because the way you put it on your 20s and the way you put it on your 40s is going to be different because it's going to look different so um yeah just a word of advice just be careful you may or may not need this but in any case I just want to show you guys how to go ahead and use this properly now that was recording.
so that is the that is the final look um but you can see how the the orange is not bleeding through um and then once you put your concealer over top and just blend out very well then you can create a whole flawless base for which you can go on and about your business in life so as always thank you guys so much for coming to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one bye especially the lady that looks out of the window at everybody walking by like yeah, I am definitely that woman.